Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Krista here and you're watching The Radical Angel Esoterica. Thanks for joining me today. And I really hope that you enjoyed your sun sign series. Uh, finally getting these videos out for you. Today we're going to be exploring moon signs and uh, we're looking at moon in Gemini right now. So some of the major themes behind your moon in Gemini, we're going to begin by talking about what the sign Gemini is and of course what the moon is, what it, it, what it rules and um, what it espouses. So Gemini of course is the third sign in the zodiac, you're the sign of the twins, the first air sign, very communicative, um, interested in a lot of things, very mercurial, you're ruled by Mercury. Um, so you're kind of the jack of all trades. You're going to be interested in a little bit of this and a little bit of that and very quick moving. You like things like ga like uh, board games, card games. Uh, you'd like little, you know, short distance trips, um, local, you know, apple orchard, go picking there for a day, um, come back, do, you know, play some cards, um, have some people over, maybe record a song and you know make something with your hands i mean you're very very crafty and you're probably going to have a lot of music and movies or cinema in your life um, just because you love watching people and you love the human condition you want to see what everyone's doing what everyone's involved with um, it helps paint a bigger picture of humanity for you as opposed to just sort of looking at yourself and your closest relationships and that's something that say a lot of um, uh, the water and earth signs would be doing and in opposition to that cancer rules the moon which is where your Gemini is sitting and cancer ruled moon is your emotional world it's fourth house energy it's the mother it's the intuition it's creativity it's security it's also a water sign um, this is something really emotional, right? And it is cardinal, so it is willing to try something new, to embark on something new. It's going to be the first one out the gate. Gemini is mutable. Gemini is really okay with just taking your time. Maybe you'll do a little bit of this and you'll come back to it and you'll do a little bit of this and come back to it. So there could be some scattered emotional energy here. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, but it could prove frustrating sometimes, especially within emotionally profound relationships. It is, it could be difficult, for example, depending on where your Venus, your Mars, and your Sun sign sits, um, who you're going to be attracted to, but not only that, how dedicated you're going to be to that person. You could even prefer, at least in the beginning of a relationship or the beginning of an affair, to have an open relationship or to be polyamorous because emotionally this is going to appeal for you to you you're not necessarily going to want to have long-term commitments emotionally at least right away you really are the butterfly of the zodiac you're going to want to sample here and there again it's not in and of itself a negative thing it just depends on what you do with it so for example if you are this type of um emotionally speaking, this type of person, just be honest with who you're with, right? Um, maybe let the person that you're dating know, uh, this is what I'm like, um, I don't wanna hurt you, I just wanna be fair, maybe we can talk about this, and that's gonna come very easily for you as well. It's gonna be very easy <laughs> for you to talk about your emotions, maybe even ad nauseum, so make sure that you put a cap on it, You know, pick a topic <laughs> about your emotional world, talk about it, and then, you know, move on to something else more than likely what they're feeling. Like, let them talk um, and get their feelings out with you. Um, you could be interested in having a lot of short-term relationships as well. Again, as long as everyone's in on the game and no one's getting hurt, I think things should be fine. Um, ultimately, um, to thine own self be true. So ultimately, be true to yourself. Just don't go tricking anybody. So... That's my interpretation of your moon in um, moon in Gemini. I'm going to look at some material that I am referring to today. Everything that I'm referring to will be listed in the description box below. So the major theme uh, here, according to Miss Gallagher, is that 
you could have a tendency to become a bit scattered. I did mention that uh, fickle, don't expect promises <laughs> uh, to be kept. Yeah, I mean, it's just because, I don't even think you mean anything bad by it, it's just because you're so interested in the world at large. And the right partner for you, for example, a Sagittarius sun or moon, for example, just looking at the first two planets, might be ideal for you. This person speaks your language. This person is interested in physically exploring the world while you, uh, you know, the emotional world, right? Um, landing in relationships where there are, you know, emotional explosions and trying to figure out where everyone fits and how everyone belongs. You might be more interested in reading about the emotional world or developing motions within a relationship. This is going to be your field of study. I think it will interest you to no end the emotional world of all human interaction, especially intimate ones. Um, but there could be something bookish about it. There could be something that is a bit, uh, not necessarily reserved, but standoffish. Um, so again, the, the, the book or the theoretical component of intimacy and emotions might appeal more to you than emotions themselves. So I'm gonna look at the bright and then the dark side of the moon in Gemini. The bright side is that you're more versatile, witty, charming, lively, and amusing. This cannot be understated. The moon it ruled, Cancer ruled, ruled moon um, is, so affectionate it's so it's shy and it's creative but ultimately it's all about having people feel comfortable and at home right it's the sign of the home and you know and em being emotionally at home so someone in Gemini in in the moon or the moon in Gemini would be someone who is trying to make someone feel at home uh, intellectually so you're going to sort of grab onto people who feel the same way about subject matter that you really like. So it's less about tactile affections and more about subject matter. You know, what are you reading? What are you listening to, right? These, these would be common questions. Um, you know, what's your favorite movie? Uh, that type of thing. This is going to appeal to you. Even things like board games or even card games. Um, and this is gonna be a common theme in your emotional world is what you can do with somebody else. Uh, so less about touching, more about meeting of the minds. And then the dark side of Gemini would be there's disorganization, inconsistency, superficiality, and maybe some manipulation. Again, I wouldn't really get on your own case about this. I just think it's something to watch about yourself. It's something, everyone has a light and dark side. Um, depending on where your moon sits. And there is a positive and negative to every sign. So it's just about knowing the information and using it to your advantage. Um, you have a very witty intellect here. There's also something really fun and cute about you. You could be very youthful um, or project a very youthful or emote, I must say, emote a very youthful personality and there's something cute there um, Gemini's typically speaking have something cute about them there's something you know a little boy or a little girl and very impish uh, very sweet so I'm um, gonna finish off with some famous people in Gemini as I find this pretty exciting to think about some of the um, major actors or writers or even politicians that we've been attracted to or have uh, have appealed to us throughout the years and think huh okay well now I know because their moon is in such and such. So some famous people with their moon in Gemini are Betty Davis, Sigmund Freud, Buddy Holly, Rudyard Kipling, um, George Bernard Shaw, Queen Victoria, Andy Warhol, and Barbara Walters. So yeah, people who are basically unafraid, very original, right? These are original thinkers. Um, people who are, again, Sigmund Freud is a really good example of this. I believe his Taurus is, his son is in Taurus, by the way. Um, so he's a real, he's a stickler. He's willing to sit still, right? He's a stickler for um, taking his time with something. But the Gemini moon would, again, with the 
emphasis on the bookish aspect or the clinical aspect of the emotions. This man studied emotions, right? So he can take a step back, you can lean back from it, you're not all, in, all encompassed in it, and then you can study it at a far, uh, from afar at a distance. And then of course, Andy Warhol is another really good example. Um, in my view, uh, Betty Davis, I mean, she, uh, famous for her eyes, incredibly exposed, explosive personality. I mean, every household around the world probably knows this person's name and she's been deceased for, you know, decades. I mean, she made such an enormous impact. There was no ignoring her. Um, and then with Andy Warhol, this guy was, again, he's kind of, I mean, he was kind of impish. He was kind of peculiar and very standoffish. It was very hard to get close to this person emotionally. And this is how he emoted. He was able to put his ideas, his emotions uh, to paper. And you'll notice a lot of his artwork is duplicates, right? Or, you know, it's the same image, but there's some different colors. So that's the way that he uh, emoted through his artwork. So I'm gonna finish there. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And uh, let me know, are you a typical Gemini moon? Um, did some of this material make sense to you? Was it helpful? Uh, would you have added something different? And um, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos. That really helps me out as well. So thanks again for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.